Today on Single Reads with Dr. Lori, we're going to talk about saxophone cleaning kits. There are a lot of different types of saxophone cleaning kits that you can buy on the internet or in music stores. Generally, they're going to cost you around $20 for each one of these kits, maybe just a little bit less. But um, a lot of the things that you get in these cleaning kits, maybe you can get even a little bit cheaper. So I have a couple of different kits that I want to compare today, and then I'm going to talk about what I keep in my case. The first one I have is by Alfred. It's Alfred's Care Kit for saxophone. And let's see what we got in here. Okay, first thing I pull out is a little practice record. Okay. Second thing is a cleaning type cloth, a polishing cloth really is what it is. It's fine. It's a good thing to have a little polishing cloth in your case if you want to have a little, little something to kind of wipe off the bell. And there's a lot of metal on the instrument, obviously, so it's nice to have a little cleaning cloth that you can do that with. It's just a little piece. All right, next thing is, I guess, what they're going to call their cleaning swab. Very long string and a weighted end. And then it's got this thing. Okay. This thing I do not recommend, okay? It has a, a foam end here, and I, I understand why they have it like that. It's soft so they can pull it through, although it's not a very strong kind of string here. Also, this cloth is not absorbent at all. It is not going to absorb anything inside your saxophone. So, I mean, it's basically just a little piece of oh, chamois cloth, and it's not going to absorb. So I don't recommend that at all. I don't like those. Um, here's another little thing that they give you. I'm assuming this is for the neck. Uh, it's another one of those little chamois things. And I don't know how that's going to absorb anything either. It's really super short, which is fine because the neck is not very long, but that's not going to absorb anything. Okay. So again, I think that's a bomb with that one. I would not recommend that. All right. Next thing. Uh, in this kit is some um, super slick cork grease. Okay, we need cork grease, obviously, because we have to be able to put our mouthpiece on the neck and the neck has a long piece of cork on it. So you wanna have that. Okay, all right, next thing. Um, we have a little mouthpiece brush. This mouthpiece brush is kind of rough. It's a little bit sturdy and it's got a pointy, kind of a pointy end on it. So you could use this in your mouthpiece, but if I was gonna use this, I'd be afraid of scratching it because these bristles are pretty kind of hard bristles and it's got that little end there. So I don't know if I'd wanna put that. Um, also comes with, this is kind of nifty. Um, it has a little, um, little cleaning end on this one. It looks sort of like a mascara brush, very similar to that. And then you've got the, um, a little end, a little brush, and this will be for cleaning out any of the tone holes or between the saxophone, uh, some of the, the long rods and such, you can use that. And that's fine. Uh, it's not very big, but you know, maybe you don't need to have something very big for that. So that's okay too. Um, and then it give you a um, reed guard, which can hold two reeds. Okay, and this is, this is actually for tenor sax. If it was, it was the alto saxophone one, it would give you a, a little bit smaller one of these, but it would probably still just hold two reeds. And then they give you a little teeny tiny pencil. So for the money on this kit, um, I don't think this one is worth the money. Um, I think this one was like $17.99. And the only thing that I think that was worth it in this was, it's nice to have a reed guard, but that's not worth $17. And, um, the, this um, kind of like a, I guess it's like a like a cleaning not really a cleaning cloth it's just basically you know just a shine your instrument kind of cloth so I think what you get in that case oh and then of course the the, the cork grease that we all need I don't think that it's worth the money in this particular kit myself because I really am very particular about my cleaning cloths and I don't think this one comes with good cleaning cloths okay all right, then there's this other kit that I was interested in because I thought, well, it comes in this really nice case. Although this case is really a big case, not gonna fit into your saxophone case very well because, but it is nice, so it would work in a backpack if you wanted to do that too. That is cool. It has a zipper compartment around it and it has a strap uh, if you wanna just hang it on something or whatever. But 
again, it's pretty big. All right, so then you open it up and it's got this little case inside, okay? This is by um, Imalode. And let's see, just pull out first thing is a mouthpiece brush and it's not quite as stiff as the Alfred care kit, but you know, it's, it's okay as far as mouthpiece brushes go, pretty big. All right, and let's see what's next on this one side. Uh, looks like it's gonna be a swab. So let's see what the swab looks like. Okay, uh, this swab is, um, it's got a long string. Okay, good weighted end on here. This fabric again is probably not gonna be really super absorbent. Um, it might be a little bit better than, I, I think it is going to be better than what, what the Alfred one had in it, but it's still not my favorite. So it's, it's going to be okay. It's not, it's not cloth and it's not, uh, it's not silk. So it's going to be, it's not going to absorb as well as I would like to see. Okay. And then another little, lots of little cloths. All right. Let's see what this one is. Um, well, it's a little hanky cloth thing. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, it feels like, again, like a, like a sort of like a real soft sort of almost faux leather suede, kind of like a chamois. It's a chamois cloth. It's like what you wash cars with, basically. Um, I'm not sure what you use this for. Okay. Um, and another, another one. Yet another one. So, again, I'm not really sure what you use these for. I guess it would be just for wiping... You know, small areas so you don't have to use a big cloth all right uh let's see what else we have in here all right let's go to the other side okay ah okay looks like we've got a toothbrush let's open this up okay i can't get this open all right well um they have it packaged very very well all right, so anyway, it's a toothbrush, and um, this toothbrush that they've got here, it's got pretty soft, looks like very soft, and edges or uh, bristles on it, and this would be used if you're going to, I would assume, try to, um, you know, wipe off, you know, get any gunk off of any of the parts of the saxophone, or possibly use this uh, on the mouthpiece. I don't know. I think this is more what they would use for the mouthpiece, but just a little extra brush to get any kind of dust or dirt off. That you would see and then lastly we have another we have a package very very well okay all right okay here is the major cloth looks like that they would use this is a major cloth all right so we've got this nice long cloth again the, the fabric with this is not very absorbent although it's a very big cloth and it would go through your your horn very well um, it has a little extra fluff on the end here, and I guess that's to get anything extra that might might happen to be part of it. I think um, the way this is going to have to work, though, is you can only go so far with it because this is not going to go through the top very well. It might be able to pull it through a bigger instrument, but then you might have to pull it out backwards again. And I'm assuming that's why you have this very, very, very long strap on there. So that's your your swab that you would have. It's a big swab, it's good. But again, it's a little bit on the awkward side. Okay, that's in the Imalode. I think that the thing that I like the best about this one is um, I guess the brush and maybe the case, because I'm not a real fan of the fabric that they're using for their their swabs. I don't think it's great. I guess the smaller swab here is what they used for maybe for the neck. That must be for the neck. Um, and again, these little cloths, I don't know. So it's probably not my favorite. It's, it's attractive the way it's packaged, but I don't know if I really like it that much. Um, I found another swab that I want to show you too that um, I ordered. This one, when it came, it just wasn't constructed very well. The, um, this is how it came. It was already frayed, this boat, this part right here was already coming apart and I should have sent it back because it was bad. Uh, it just not, not well made at all. And then this part here, it's got this little weird little brush thing in here. And I'm sort of, I know that's to make it bigger so that 
when you run it through, it gets more of it, more, and it gets closer to the sides and everything. But again, it's not that very absorbent kind of material. I don't think this absorbs well at all. Um, this is one, um, is uh, called Alto Sex Cleaning Brush for Tube Made in China. So that's all that came with it. And I just wanted to get, to show you this because this is the one that, again, I would not get. The thing is about cleaning cloths, the thing that I like uh, about the one I use is that it's absorbent. The kind that the, you see in a lot of cleaning kits are the kind that are not, like, like this. I don't like these at all. And this is not desirable. And this is not desirable either because they really don't absorb very well, in my opinion. Some people may love them, but in my opinion, I don't think they absorb very well at all. So uh, I want to show you what I have in my kit and um, let's get to that. Okay, so let's see what I have in my case that I keep in my saxophone case, right? I like to keep everything pretty much in a little small bag if I can. Um, other things you could use like this is a little, like a little makeup bag. This is a little uh, bag that is for pencils, pen pencil bag. Um, you can buy any of these types of things at the Dollar Tree or Walmart or any of those places uh, very inexpensively so you don't have to spend a lot of money on them. Again, like with cleaning kits, sometimes they'll come with cases, but they're very expensive. Uh, so you want to try to make it as inexpensive as possible. Okay, so I have this little small one that I like to keep. I don't have a lot that I want to put in it, so I don't want to take up a lot of room. Um, before I take out the stuff in there, I'm just going to show you my swab. I really love this swab. Um, this is a, um, it's a silk swab. It's not totally silk, really. It's, not, it's like, a, I don't know, like a polyester type material, but it absorbs really well and it's really big. And I have used this swab for years. And it's got a nice long string and a long weighted end. And I have used this to clean out my saxophone. Uh, for years. It's been great for that. Um, it also can work for the neck because it is not going to get caught on anything. Um, when I clean my mouthpiece out, um, I usually just take the end of the swab and I'll wipe out that. Um, or I might have a little separate cloth with that because uh, I don't want to run, run my swab through the actual mouthpiece. But I will run it through my neck and I will run it through the actual um, body of the saxophone. Uh, some people will use the the long kind of, um, I guess they're, they, they used to call them shubbits. I'm not sure what they call them now, but those kind of things, um, the long fluffy ones, um, those are, are okay. Um, I know a lot of repair people don't like those because they'll sometimes leave fuzz inside the instrument and everything. Um, but if that's something you like, that's fine. But I wouldn't use it in the neck and I would not use them in the mouthpieces at all. I don't think they're good for mouthpieces, especially because they get, they do leave fuzz in there too. Um, but if you have one for the body, I wouldn't, um, it wouldn't matter that much. It'd be okay because I have used them in the past. Um, but I would, I would probably not use it in the mouthpiece or in the neck. All right. Um, I also keep a little piece of, um, of shining cloth. This is, this is a little piece of that, um, kind of nice, nice soft cloth that I use if I want to wipe off my saxophone. Like if I've got a little excess water on the bell or something, I'll wipe it off with that. <coughs> All right. Let's see what else I keep in my little cleaning kit here. It's not really, it's just like my little, little kit. All right, so of course I have to keep my, my cork grease. Um, this is some D'Addario cork grease. Uh, I like the tube kind the best. Um, if you don't have tube kind, that's okay. Uh, you just want to have something because you do need to have that. All right, I have a little um, mouthpiece brush that I keep in my case. This one is really soft bristles. It's not like this um, this other one that I found in this other case. This one is, is the bristles are much, much harder and I don't like that as much, um, but this is a nice uh, soft cleaning uh, so if you are going to clean out your mouthpiece just carefully with some warm water, this is a, is a nice little one to use. Usually you don't have to scrub your, <laughs> your brush that much because it's pretty, you know, uh, if you're cleaning it every day, it's not going to get too gunky. But if you have it in a while and you need to clean it, then this brush is pretty good for that. Okay, then... Uh, little screwdriver. little screwdriver is nice to have if the screws are starting to come out. Sometimes in certain places, like for instance, if you have a little screw 
like maybe um, you know one of these top ones here or over here some of those maybe in the back right on this one here they'll sometimes come out and then the little screwdriver is a nice thing to have so you can easily get that in there and you can screw that back on so that's kind of a nice thing to have as well okay um, all right I like to keep um, mouthpiece patches also mouthpiece patches are a really good thing to have uh, in case yours comes off or if you somebody else needs to have one I like to use the reserve kind that is made by Daddario this is the black um, let's see it's 0.80 millimeter thickness not too thick not too not too thin um, and they're not the big huge long ones I like this this size is I think perfect uh, for both clarinet I think it works great for saxophone so um, I'm going to keep that in there as something extra that I want to keep. Um, this is something that I just do is, is I use a um, little um, makeup blush uh, brush. Um, this is nice if you want to, like, if let's say you have, um, you know, some dust or something in there. And it's just a nice soft little brush that you can get any kind of extra things out and it won't damage your instrument at all. Keeps it nice and clean looking because sometimes when it's in the case, um, extra little dirt and things like that can get on your case, uh, on your instrument. So you want to make sure you just kind of every once in a while just do that and keep it keep it looking good and keeping it in good shape, nice and nice and shiny. Okay, so this one um, I got free when I got some Clinique makeup, but you don't necessarily have to uh, you know find this particular one. I just use this because it's really small and compact. But you can buy a larger makeup brush and it works just fine. Okay. Um, also, I like to keep in my case a little tiny piece of plexiglass. The plexiglass um, is for when I want to work on reeds. So if I have a reed, and let me get my reed off here, I'll show you. When I have a, um, let's say I need to work on a reed just real quick. I'm, you know, at a concert or, you know, and I don't have time to sit and get everything out and work on them. I can put the reed on this. It's a flat surface, so I have that rather than putting it on a table or leaving it on the mouthpiece. I have a little flat surface. I can hold it on. I can hold it very firmly with my thumb. And then I have a little piece of sandpaper, just very, very thin sandpaper. And then I can work on wherever the point is where I think I need to take a little bit of the wood off. And then I've got it. Um, what I like about using um, plexiglass is that the edges aren't sharp and it's not gonna break. Uh, if you use glass, it will, and it'll, you know, you'll cut your fingers and, and it's not good to have in your case. But this is really great because I can whack this on anything and it's not going to break. And it doesn't, it's, I'm not going to scratch anything up because I'm not putting the reed on a table or anything like that. So that's perfect. And then I just keep a little piece of, piece of uh, sandpaper with me too in the case. And, you know, of course, if you're at home and you have time to sit and work on reeds and things like that, then you'll have a lot more things. But this is just something to keep in the case. I always keep pencils in my case too. Um, I, I like to have the, I like this kind here because it's got, you know, you can keep extra uh, lead and you can keep extra um, um, erasers on it too. You don't have to have that. It can be any kind of pencil is fine. But this works great. I keep it one in my case at all times and I keep uh, or in my little bag at all times and then I also keep um, one in my uh, regular case so I have several in there because I want to make sure that I always have a pencil with me it's very important okay and I always keep an extra neck strap in my case in every case I try to keep an extra neck strap because there have been times when I have gone to a rehearsal or to a job and I've forgotten my neck strap because sometimes when I practice I just take my neck strap off and I put it put it on the stand or you know lay it next to the chair or wherever and I might be in a hurry and I forget to put it back in the case so if you have an extra neck strap and it doesn't have to be your perfect neck strap like you use all the time but it's an, a nice neck strap you can keep in your bag um, folds up small then I can keep that in here and uh, I'm always with one and you know sometimes a friend needs one so you always have a, a neck strap here so that's basically all I need to keep in my um, in my saxophone uh, case with me um, you know I, I think most importantly you know having the um, of course the cork grease I think it's very important to have you have to have that you need to make sure that you have the extra strap the screwdrivers the swab to clean your instrument at all times um, of course I always keep some extra reeds in my case uh, I usually have a a reed case that you can hold um, I think it's up to eight to ten reeds oh, for saxophone I think it's eight reeds uh, and then um, keep extra ones 
even an extra box in my case too because in case those reads don't work then I have another one that I can use and such so all right so those are the things that I would keep in my case um, remember a lot of the things that you can put in your case you don't have to spend a lot of money on the only thing that I really had to buy uh, from like a music store was the um, mouthpiece patches and that's again just something I like to do you don't necessarily have to have that in there um, the swab I had to buy from a music store because you know I didn't I wasn't able to make my own but everything else I have in here is stuff that I can you can get like from Walmart or from the Dollar Tree and you can spend a lot less money than buying a cleaning kit or a maintenance case for saxophone that has things that you don't really need okay so I hope that you learned something from from the uh, things that I have in my case and before you buy a cleaning kit kind of look and see is this something that I need sometimes you can get by a little bit uh, cheaper without having to buy a $20 kit or more and you can make it worth your money buying things um, at a, a place that doesn't that aren't quite so expensive okay again need a little bag or something to put them in make sure you have that because that'll that'll you don't want everything rolling around in your case okay all right i will see you the next time